for the most part, you were put in like the shitter situations, man. Like, <laughs> like, talking about fucking violence, what was up with the Israel like Krav Maga episode? What was oh, that all so about, funny. man? Um, so, all right, so, you know, the other, there's another TV series that was real similar to ours that came out at the same time called Human Weapon, um, which was a cool show too, but, uh, Human Weapon was, they were like less violent than our show. They were, uh, they were a little bit more controlled. Um, so what had happened was Human Weapon went to Israel and filmed the Krav Maga episode that aired before ours. So when we went to film in Israel, uh, Avavit, my trainer, and her uh, her grandmaster or whatever the guy above her was, were like very. They were very upset with Human Weapons portrayal of Krav Maga. They were like, that looked like some pussy shit, basically, right? <laughs> so their their whole intention as we came was like, we need to make this shit look tough as fuck. Like we need to save Krav Maga's face. Um, so yeah, the way to do that in her mind was just to like beat the shit out of me as much as possible. Well, that elbow just comes out of nowhere. Dude, yeah. I mean, even when I got hit with that elbow, that's so funny. My boss was just like laughing at me about that last week. I don't know why he brought it up. But, um, yeah, when I got hit with that elbow, you know, I didn't even know that I got hit. Like I was just standing there listening to an instructor talk, you know, as you normally would in a martial arts class. And then she was like, I'm going to show you how to do the elbow, Doug. And then the next thing I know, like the whole world is like blurry. And I was like, why is the world blurry? <laughs> and then I'm like looking at her funny, like trying to figure out why everything got blurry. And I was like, wait, this is what it's like when somebody hits you. This Maybe I just got hit. And then I like move my tongue around in my mouth and there's like a piece of tooth in there. And I was like, this bitch just elbowed me in the face. <laughs> and that was the only one that they filmed. But she she continued to do that throughout the week. Like she would just come up and like swing at me it, where it got to the point where I had like this mild case of PTSD. You know, like anytime she'd come near me, I would just be like putting my hands up in like a guarded fighting position, you know, re- ready for her to try to crack me in the face. Like she was uh, she was an intense chick. She still is an intense chick. She's a very, uh, very aggressive woman. Yeah. And like everyone under her tutelage looked like. They all had Stockholm syndrome or something. <laughs> yeah. you know, they all like looked fucking terrified. They every single one Dude. of them looked just like they were blank. They were just blank faced. Yep, absolutely. And it was really, really funny to me because like I would talk to these guys because we would go through and I, I went through all sorts of grueling training, right, all over the world, and I experienced all sorts of different ways to train and and different levels of violence, right? But Israel was shocking to me even at this point, where I was like, man, this is really fucking intense like these guys are crazy so i would i would talk to the guys i was training with you know like when we're on a lunch break or something i'd be like man how, how do you guys survive training and they were all like dude who, we do not train like this <laughs> they were they i mean they did train intensely i think on the regular time and they all definitely did have fear of abba v you're right like they had stockholm man yeah but um they they were like no we don't train to this level of intensity they're like we're just doing this now because she's going to kill us if if we don't um, like everybody I trained with that week got injured. Everybody by like the end of the week, like everyone was out. There wasn't anybody to train with. Um, and uh, I don't remember if I got any serious injuries. I think I had a concussion at one point. I was like projectile vomiting. So <laughs> I'm pretty sure I was like at least mildly concussed. Thankfully, it wasn't like a terrible concussion. Um, and I, but I don't think I got any other injuries that really stopped me in that episode. I got like a black eye or something, you know, whatever. Mm-hmm. Yeah, just the concussion, the black eye stuff. Jimmy's training it was obviously strenuous and hard, but like in comparison, you know, he he was literally watching like the Disney Channel with a fucking beer. You know what I mean? <laughs> like in comparison with yours, it was just it was mountains apart. I think it came down to they just knew our personalities and they knew that Jimmy was uh, more more professional in a sense, right? Like Jimmy, if if they presented him with a thing that didn't make sense for like legitimate sports training, Jimmy will be like, why am I doing this? This doesn't make sense. I don't want to do this where I just have too much pride to ever back down. Like you, you tell me that I have to like wrestle an alligator to get better at Taekwondo. And I'm like, well, I'm not going to be the pussy who says no to wrestling an alligator. So let's do it. Um, and the producers knew that. So they're like, just throw Doug into whatever. Yeah. You want to have going. Yeah. What kind of other injuries did you experience? Because you said you had like a mild concussion and you were saying earlier on about your, I think it was your foot. Yeah, in Indonesia. That one was bad. Um, so I don't, 
I don't know that I ever even watched the Indonesia episode of the show, so I'm not sure what they show on it. But um, I, I kicked in the elbow while we were sparring. You know, I threw a kick at him. He blocked it. Elbow hit my foot, which is a real common injury. It happens a lot when you're kickboxing, right? So you what, get like a little, a little bruise on the top of your foot that's like the size of an egg. But normally that bruise will hurt really bad for like three days. It'll feel like your foot's broken. Um, so you got three days where you really can't walk at all. Uh, so I was like, damn, this sucks. This is a shitty time to get this injury. Um, and then the, the guys that I'm training with were like, oh, oh, we got you. We, we take you to a massage, a massage. They don't really speak English well. But they're telling me about a massage, and I'm like, dude, that sounds sweet. You know, like we're like hot and sweaty at the end of the day of working out, fighting each other. I'm like, let's, I'm just picturing like some pretty Indonesian girls giving us all rub downs. I'm like, let's do this. This sounds cool. So we go up in the van. We drive for like an hour and a half, and I'm like, these girls have to be super hot. <laughs> I don't know why we're driving so far to get to this place. But we pull up, dude, and it was like straight up, like out of something you'd see on like a HBO TV show about crime, like crack house, you know? And I'm like, what are we doing here? Where's the massage power? And they're like, massage, massage. And they're like dragging me into this crack den. We walk in and it's straight up. Like I was like, all right, well, maybe on the inside, you know, things will change. It's all going to all going to start to make sense when we see the spa. And we go inside and it's like, dude, the crack den from the outside pales in comparison to the crack den on the inside. <laughs> it was like, what the fuck? There's just like people sleeping on the floors. There's chip paint on the walls. Everything's filthy. So they bring us into this back room. And no lie, man, there's a guy sitting on the floor. He's got a tatami mat rolled out. And he's like this heavy set Indonesian dude sitting on the floor in a purple hard rock cafe sweatsuit, smoking cigarettes. And he's just staring at me. And they're like, massage, massage. And I was like, motherfuckers, this is not what I signed up for. <laughs> so I sit down on this mat. They had me go first. And um, they're like explaining to me like this guy massages injuries or whatever to like, you know, help you recovery time. So, all right, whatever. So I, we didn't even film any of this. This was like after the, the camera crew didn't even come. Cause they also thought I was just going to be getting a massage from like a cute girl. They're like, that's <laughs> not going to make it in the show, Doug. <laughs> but, um, it wound up being the dude just took my foot. So I've got like this egg sized bruise on the top of my foot. He takes my foot. And... <laughs> Sorry about that. That's fine. Man. Dogs are bugging out. Um, so he grabs my foot and just starts grinding the bruise down. Um, and I've been through a lot of pain in my life, but I'm telling you, like that might have been the worst pain I ever felt. This guy was grinding this bruise out of my foot. So I'm just like, I don't want to yell. I want to yell with all my fucking heart. I want to yell, but I don't want to be that guy. You know, I'm like all the dudes I'm training with are watching me. So I'm just like holding this in and I'm just thinking like, this is pre This is what pregnancy feels like. This has got to be what happens. <laughs> um, just gritting my teeth, pushing through it. This guy, he grinds the bruise out of my foot, like just pushes on it with his palm and pushes the bruise out. Um, excruciating pain, but whatever it's over. And then he's telling me, he's like, whatever they're translating through to me that, you know, it should be better by tomorrow or whatever. Seems really weird to me, but I was like, whatever. I've people do crazy stuff in other countries, and a lot of it works. So maybe this is it. Um, but it didn't work. And what wound up happening was my whole my foot got infected. All the blood that he pushed down in there never uh, dispersed, so it all just, I guess, coagulated in there. And my foot, like you can see it in that episode, my foot is huge. It's like a loaf of bread, and it just got worse. Like by the time we got home, I couldn't walk on it. I wound up spending a month in bed. And I'm just a dumbass, you know, I was like, I'm not going to the hospital. I don't want to, I don't want to bother. I go to the, the, um, the army hospital here because I was a veteran. So, um, I don't want to like take from their resources. So I'm like, I'll just heal. I'll just deal with this. And I just laid in bed every time I got up, it would just be burning pain shooting through my leg. My whole leg turns red, you know, it's swollen and red, and red now. So finally my mom's screaming at me, like, you need to go to the hospital. I go to the hospital and they were like, man, if you had waited another day or two, we would have had to amputate. So, oh my God. Um, yeah, they got me straightened out, took care of the infection, and then we were on to the next episode. So the next episode was hilarious. We did boxing in Mexico, and I had zero cardio. You know, like my car, I just spent the past month laying in bed, and we were at some crazy elevation um, to where, like, even if you have good cardio, you're going to get tired out quick. And I was, I was literally sparring with guys for like 45 seconds, and then wanting to pass out in the ring. Um, crazy, crazy experience. But, uh, yeah, so I, I got some injuries, man. Some... <laughs> <laughs> there was something wrong with your eye at one point as well? Yeah. Oh, um, so in Japan for Kyokushin Karate, which is an awesome style. I love training. Yeah, that Those was brutal. Super... That, was, that seemed really Dude. brutal. 
brutal, brutal, but really tough guys, really cool, really honorable style of fighting. You know, I loved it. Um, <clears throat> but they like they're just they're just about trading blows, man, going blow for blow, and it's really like less a test of skill and more a test of like who's got who's got the heart to hang in this, you know. So I love that style. But uh, yeah, so uh, they didn't show this fully on the on the show either for like drama reasons. They they couldn't show the whole deal. Um, but I did a uh, a nine man kumite in sparring, so I fought nine guys in a row for a minute each. Um, they didn't show up because the final fight in that episode was a five man fight, and they were like, "Well, we can't have your train up be harder than your your final fight." But the train up was way harder. I got my ass kicked in this nine man fight, you know. Um, but like the fourth guy, I'm I'm tired, you know, so I'm, I'm pretty wore out, and these dudes are just coming in kicking me in the head, boom. So I get knocked out. I'd wake up and. Uh, my trainer's just beating me with a stick, you know, and I'd stand up and <laughs> start swinging at whoever's in front of me. Like, I'd see a guy in a karate game and be like, oh, I, I guess I'm in a fight. I don't know where I am, but it looks like I'm in a fight. Let me swing, you know? Um, so that went on for nine minutes um, of me just getting knocked out multiple times. And when I, when I stood up at the end of it, I remember the cameraman coming over and interviewing me, and I was so out of it. I was saying stuff that, like, a person on a mushroom trip would say, you know? Like, it was like I was on acid. I was like, he was like, so how do you feel, Doug? And I was like, we've all been here before. And he was like, <laughs> oh, yeah, yeah. He was like, yeah, we were here early this morning. And I was like, no, but we've been here before many times. And he's <laughs> like, what the fuck? You know? <laughs> so then um, we do a little bit more training and we go to lunch. And while we're eating lunch, you know, like I'm, I'm just like beat the fuck up. But we're eating lunch, you know, everybody's getting their noodles or whatever. And the the field of vision in my right eye, no, no my eye wasn't bruised at all. I didn't have like black eye or anything like that but the field of vision in my right eye just kind of like just closed down closed down closed down and then shut off so my eye just completely turned off and was just black um <clears throat> but there was no like outward injury like my eye was wide open but i couldn't see anything out of it so i guess it was just some swelling in my brain or something <laughs> yeah nothing and, to worry uh, about <laughs> and just shut that down but it's it's fucking hilarious so then um you know I, I couldn't eat lunch i was nauseous because i have a concussion you know and then we eat lunch and take like a 10 minute break. And then they're like, all right, next round of training is we're going to go for a run. And I was like, yes, finally a break, you know, like I, I can't deal with getting beat up anymore today. So they drive us to the point where we're going to run. And uh, they're like, yeah, we're going to drop you off here. Just run back to um, base camp. So they start driving and they're driving and driving and driving. We're just driving down a fucking mountain. And I'm like, when, when are we going to stop and start this run? So they drive us to the bottom of this mountain and drop us off. And we have to run up. And uh, that was one of the hardest points for me in Fight Quest, I think. Like, I'm blind in one eye. I'm concussed. I want to puke really, really hard. And uh, I just need to get through this run, right? Like, so all I'm thinking is, like, make it up this fucking mountain and you're done. You can have a couple hours off. And while I'm trying to get up the mountain, the cameramen are obviously, they need to film me. So they're driving next to me in a bus, just like hacking exhaust fumes into my face. <laughs> <laughs> And the cameraman's like hanging out the window, asking me questions about how I feel. And I think that was the only time I was ever rude to any of the camera people because they were good people. Like, I really like those guys. I'm still friends with them, you know. And uh, I think it was my friend Robert's like hanging out the window. And he's like, Doug, how do you feel? And I was just like, go fuck yourself. <laughs> <laughs> uh, but yeah, man, it was just like, oh, that was a shitty feeling. Um. But yeah, so I, I got several concussions throughout the course of the show. And then just, yeah, little, you know, bumps and bruises, broken bones. In Japan, I broke my finger and my cheekbone and that bad concussion. And my leg was fucked up, too. In the final fight there, I could barely walk. Um, but I, I remember being, me and Jimmy were in the hospital after our, our last fight in Japan. And it was like something out of a kung fu movie, right? So there, here's these two guys in bloody karate geese just sitting in like a Japanese hospital. We're just like wiping blood off of our faces or whatever, you know, sitting there waiting for the doctor to see us. And um, I go to blow my nose and I blow my nose. And as I'm blowing, the entire left side of my face just swells up oh. in proportion with how much I blow my nose. So like it, it swelled to the point where I could see it out of my own vision. Right. So I'm watching my face blow up and Jimmy like looks over at me and he's laughing and I'm like laughing at my <laughs> just, like ridiculousness of the situation. And then the nurse comes over and she stops. She sees us laughing. She realizes this isn't a big deal to us. And she pushes on my face and I can like 
actually hear my face deflating like <laughs> so that's a sign if you have a broken orbital or a fracture in your cheekbone the pressure from your sinus will just like uh escape into your your face <laughs> what the that's like so some joe that... coppins is the thing stuff this is <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, so the next time I broke my cheekbone, I knew it was up. But, uh, yeah, <laughs> we took some pretty bad beatings, man. Um, but worth it. I would I would, I would, would take that trade again. You know, the concussions were worth the experience for, for sure. 